six minutes, 17 of our friends were taken from us, 15 were injured, and everyone, absolutely everyone, in the Douglas community was forever altered. I came down today with my family, my sister, and some uh, friends to support uh, gun control. Uh, ending gun control is very important to me and my family, not only me, but also our school. We gotta end it, it has to stop now, it stops with us, we're the future. You know, they're gonna fear my vote when I can vote. To me, I, today they made a movement, and they made a movement not only in history, but they're also gonna make the movement and the results in our polls. So it was very empowering today. I think there is no, uh, no place in America for uh, assault rifles. They only should be used in military uh, fashion, so I'm motivated and hopefully uh, everybody else will go out to vote this, register and go out to vote for 2018. I would like to see stricter um, gun control laws, like in um, banning any assault and semi-assault rifles forever, have them not be allowed in the United States at all. Um, I would like to see um, stronger background checks and um, and including for mental health issues so that people who um, really shouldn't have guns don't have access to them. incredibly proud of the youth. I am taking inspiration from all of the high schoolers, all of the college students that are out here standing up and speaking out. And what I hope to get out of it today is action. I hope our elected leaders feel an obligation to do their elected responsibility and pass all of these pieces of legislation that are nothing but sensible, sensible approaches to gun safety for public health. We have to at least start by limiting access to assault weapons and by making sure that there's adequate background checks and by limiting the number of guns that are just walking around on our streets because that's how we will make people safer. And any argument to the contrary is just unsound. And I couldn't be more proud of, of today's youth and the fact that they're doing this when um, the adults in their lives have not done that for them. So I hope our politicians and our president sit up and, and take some notice because these young people are the voters of tomorrow.